Hi peeps, Handyman back with another quick video. This time it's about Clam AV. Clam AV is a cross-platform antivirus. I use it primarily to scan my windows. Windows being Windows has lots of viruses, lots of Trojans out there. And so um, I've installed it on Puppy Linux. Now my hard drive is divided into two and I have Windows on one partition and I have Linux Zubuntu on uh, another partition but primarily I use Puppy Linux as my main operating system um, now um, Clam AV I've got installed on there and you can get it f from here okay now if you if you use puppy linux you you can get that from this site okay and this site is brought to you by um yorky snorky and he's worked hard and bought us a, a Clam AV97 pet, which is the latest up-to-date uh, base for this pet. But if you, you're using on Windows or you're using um, from another Linux distro, get it from this site, okay? Now once, you, once you've installed it, downloaded and installed, you'll need to use Terminal. Now Terminal's quite easy to use. Um, so open up your Terminal put in there fresh clam which what that will do is update the virus database so bring you up to date with all the latest viruses okay um, and it says mine's up to date look now there's various um, other commands that you, you have it's a fully functional antivirus um, but the main one or one of the main um, um, commands uh, if you go clam scan, it's quite important. This is space bar, and then H. That tells you that gives you all of its commands there. Look, so you can go in and and it tells you all about what it does. Okay, all the different commands. Now we're today. We're interested in scanning our Windows partition. So what I've done, I've mounted it, okay, and now what I'm going to put in there is clam scan again, okay, and we're going to put a space and then a bar, then we're going to have R, recursive, that stands for. What that means is it's going to scan the whole partition, all of it, okay. If you didn't put that, it would just scan uh, the initial file I, uh, I'm not sure if it's the boot file it scans or whatever but it, it it'll only f scan the initial one or two files so now we want to tell it where it wants to scan so we want it to scan on um, the Windows partition so in my case it's SDA1 okay as you see on the bottom of the screen there, SDA1 and again I'm going to have a space and two bars and this time I'm going to have remove and that means it's going to remove all of the viruses that it finds okay and then we hit enter and then just give that a second or two and it'll start to scan now on my particular case it takes about an hour to scan probably more um, so for you it depends on how many files you've got and whatever um, so we're going to pause the video right now and we're going to come back in a while when it's finished scanning, okay? See ya. Okay, so now we've scanned. This is our finish. Um, tells us how many viruses. Um, tells us how many directories have been scanned. How many files have been scanned. How many infections. How many errors, which is what I said it would be. Actually took a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Um, 1 hour 37 minutes and 49 seconds so there you go how easy is that um, so good suggestion back up all your windows on puppy Linux 
and you can scan your windows from time to time on, on uh, using Puppy Linux as well. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Bye for now.